Hi there, I'm Ryan Wright. Today I'm going to be presenting the news I found most interesting in the last week of August 2015. The first official photo for a sexy actor, Michael Fossbender, has been released for the new Assassin's Creed movie. Fans of the video game may be disappointed to find out the character he's playing is not in the video games. But when has staying true to a video game actually worked? I mean, how would we know? We've, they've never done it. Vin Diesel reveals that before December 2015, he will begin shooting Triple X sequel 3 or 2. I don't know. Does the one with Ice Cube count? Mario creator and Nintendo ambassador, insert Japanese name that I don't know how to pronounce, reveals that Nintendo is now open to film adaptations. I think they should adapt the Super Nintendo game Terminator 2 Judgment Day because it's been like 15 years and I still don't know how to beat the first level. It's been announced that the new film franchise of Blade will be based upon the upcoming female character, who is Blade's daughter, meaning she is black. And I like me some dark chocolate, you know what I mean? I'm gonna have sex with a black girl. I'm kidding. I'm fine with my girlfriend. Sometimes I imagine she's a black girl. No specific face, just Veronica, but darker. If you were excited for the Mad Max Fury Road director, George Miller, to helm the new Man of Steel sequel, <laughs> get ready to be disappointed because the Man of Steel sequel is on permanent hold. Open up your heart. Let the feelings of shame and disappointment come in. Now kill yourself. Luke Bracey, the actor who's filling in for the Keanu Reeves role in Point Break, has landed a lead role in Mel Gibson's World War II picture. In order to get the actor, Mel Gibson had to sell his Laker seats. <laughs> get it because of those domestic violent calls he made to his ex-girlfriend? Uh, those domestic violent calls were so funny. Joaquin Phoenix will reunite with M. Night Shyamalan for a new film produced by Blumhouse. M. Night Shyamalan has tried to ruin Paul Giamatti's career, Dev Patel's career, and Will Smith's career. Let's see if he can finally take down Joaquin Phoenix. Borderlands, the science fiction steampunk western video game, is being produced by Lionsgate into a film. The video game has been considered one of the best to possibly adapt into a movie, but I prefer the Hollywood way where you don't stick true to the game at all. I already made a joke like that, didn't I? Alright guys, well that's it for my movie news of the week. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Vine, Periscope. And last but not least, you can catch my videos on latinoreview.com. People think I'm a racist, so I joined the site to prove I am not a racist.